from the Wendy sources here, which is quite a straightforward topic, really. And it's in the news quite a lot, so people tend to be quite familiar with it. However, I just want to sort of run through some of the technicalities and the advantages and disadvantages, just to give you an idea of how you would word answers to it and how you would approach the problems. So this is how a general fossil fuel, um, a fossil fuel power plant works, and this is how the majority of uh, energy is uh, produced. So you burn your fossil fuel here, down here. What that does, you have some water here, which generates some steam. That steam moves through a turbine. The pressure from the steam causes the turbine to spin, which is attached to this, which is your generator, which is some coiled wires that go through a magnetic field. And that then causes the electricity to come off in the national grid which is then to live into your house. And there's step up transforms and things like that as well that you need to know about. But we'll go on to those in another air topic. So this is how the majority of them work. Now, the majority of your power sources come from this bit. So you need a turbine to turn a generator. And that's the fundamentals here. This here is just the way in which that is done. So for example, in nuclear energy, you'd have the same thing here where the uh, nuclear source heats up the water which then produces the steam which turns turbine but if you think about a wind uh, wind turbine that is just this you don't have this bit here that's just the wind turbine turn or the wind turbine turned around turn the generator and that's producing the energy so let's have a look at the difference between renewable and non-renewable a non-renewable resource cannot be replaced Okay, so the two classic examples here are fossil fuels, which you'll know quite a lot about petrol and diesel, the examples of these, and nuclear. Um, now, nuclear is sometimes mistaken for a renewable one because it doesn't produce carbon dioxide, but that's not a very good indicator. That is one of the things you need to think about, but it's not a uh, indicator of renewable and non-renewable. So just be careful there. Fossil fuels include things like coal, gas, and other sort of fuels like petrol. And then we look at the other, uh, some other sources. So solar is one of the few that doesn't use a turbine. Um, it is renewable. The energy comes from the sun. It gets converted into electricity. Wind, as I've already said, you have the turbine that turns a generator. Now, geothermal is an interesting one because that is uh, only possible where areas are very, very thin. So where they are near... Uh, the core of the earth or near sort of the magma because as a result you can get hot uh, you can heat water from the surface of the earth or just below the surface of the earth which can then turn the turbine um, very few places are able to generate enough energy to make that sustainable hydroelectric most of las vegas is based on hydroelectric power so this is where you get dams and as a result the water that comes down the river comes down and under pressure, then turns a turbine in the dam, which produces electricity, which, as I said, powers most of Las Vegas. Now, biofuels is a weird one. I'll put it in the middle here because it works in the same way as fossil fuels, so you would burn them. I'm pretty sure Brazil has a very, very high proportion of its energy come from biofuels. Now, they work in the same way as the fossil fuels, so they burn, they produce carbon dioxide. They're not they're kind of viewable and they're usually placed in this category the reason is because once you burn the plants or wherever you get the biofuel from you then produce carbon dioxide that carbon dioxide is then used by the plants for photosynthesis to grow and then when you burn the plants again that have grown from the carbon dioxide that was released from the first batch so you get a cycle right but once they're gone, they are actually gone. Those crops are gone. So what we'd refer to them as is something called carbon neutral. So that's a better term for a biofuel. What that means is that the same amount of carbon dioxide is used to grow them than it is to uh, than it is released burning them. So that's quite an interesting one. It tends to go in renewable because it is environmentally friendly. Um, Again, nuclear power is quite environmentally friendly, doesn't produce carbon dioxide, but there are risks of things like meltdowns. Solar and wind only really work when it's sunny or windy. So there are sort of limitations to all of these energy sources. Um, but the best thing to think about is their impact on the environment. And these are much better for the environment.